Behind the lines, three, two, one, go! Autonomous mode has begun the programming and control. We're going to be seeing the Red Alliance looking for some scores. And it looks like Team 7900 Trial and Terror are going to be looking for that charging station, engaging it. We're seeing the Blue Alliance looking to engage it as well, with Axiom successfully managing to do so. Blue Alliance has a few more points on their grid as we head into teleoperated period. Red Alliance taking off across the field. Red Raider Robotics going to that loading zone, successfully grabbing one of the cones and seeing if they can end up heading to their community to score. They're docking. It looks like they are going to be heading towards that upper level. Not quite able to get the deployment they were looking for, but they drop it into the lower zone. Still going to be worth two points. Blue Alliance Ferradermis is going to be working on trying to get some of those points as they rush back to their loading zone while their Alliance partners, 4787 Axiom, go and pick up one of the cubes in the middle of the field. In the middle of the field, cubes sure can pile up, but the loading station is a very effective and easy way to end up securing a pickup with the assistance of a human player. We're going to be seeing two Red Alliance robots, Red Raider Robotics and New Berlin Blitz, going to be going for that section and screaming across the field as they head into their community to score. Looks like we're seeing New Berlin Blitz go for a second row, and it seems that Red Raider Robotics is dropping off in the top row for five points there. Blue Alliance 65-74 tearing it their way across the field. They're bumping into other robots, but you don't have to worry. Their skin's made of iron ferrodermis. Dashing back to the loading zone to pick up another cube. We're seeing 75-96. Rocket Robotics working on trying to get one of the deployments. It looks like they got a cone successfully in that second level. That's going to be another link established for the Blue Alliance, who already has three. Red Alliance has two. Blue Alliance has not gotten quite enough. Pieces in the cooperation zone to lower the ne amount needed for that additional ranking point. Blue Alliance Rocket Robotics going to be taking the cone and heading towards their community, seeing if they can end up scoring. It looks like they're headed for the cooperation zone now. Second level, that's going to be three points. We're seeing the Red Alliance Robot, New Berlin Blitz, go with their robot, placing a cone, looking to establish another link in the middle level. That's going to be successful. We're heading into the end game period, and teams are going to be heading on to those charging stations. First up seems to be trial and tear. We're looking for three robots for the Red Alliance. Two hanging off either side, but it's engaged. All three docked and engaged for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance looking to get that and match it, seeing if they can. They have two robots. Will they be able to secure a third? They're working hard to try to do it, but it looks like they're going to have to settle with two as the match ends. Narrowly edging out their competition with 116 points. The difference between a tie and a win here was a penalty. Blue Alliance now walking home with three ranking points.